Hey, what's up guys? Flock of Seagulls here. We are flying westward to Bentonville, Arkansas for another amazing week of mountain biking. But first, what we do is we stop in in St. Louis, Missouri and check out a very cool craft beer destination in St. Louis called Schlafly's Tap Room. Very good beer. Uh, we ended up getting a flight of beers here and pretty much every one of them was pretty legit. So definitely recommend you stop here if you're heading the same direction as we are from... Uh, west of Bentonville and had some good dinner here. So good family friendly place. My recommendation, definitely check it out. So continued heading west for that night, but woke up for the official day one. And we stopped at Springfield, Missouri with the Bass Pro Shops. This is the headquarters. This hey, is the big daddy. What are you looking for? Bass Cheeks. Next, stopped in at Bricktown Brewery. Kind of a small brewery. I think it's based out of Oklahoma, but they had some pretty good beers, had a good flight, and then had an appetizer as well. So, good stop there. But what we ended up doing is heading down to Branson, Missouri. What we try to do with a lot of our mountain bike trips is squeeze in some other fun things besides just What's mountain biking. Today? Get, Get a funnel cake. That's it? That's it. What rides? The barn swing. That's it? Yeah. So... Highly recommend you stopping in to Branson, Missouri and checking out Silver Dollar City. If you've never been to this theme park, it's unlike any other theme park you've ever been to. They've got some great rides, but also some phenomenal food, some good shows and everything else. This is the Outlaw Run. Freaking amazing ride. It, it was one of the first wooden roller coasters to go upside down. That's right, folks. Great ride. We're going to do the original cinnamon bread, please. And can we get four icing cups, please? You got to get the icing cups. Cream. For what? Cinnamon and minimum bread. How legit is this? Amazing. The food there is amazing. And what they had going on when we got there is a pumpkin fest because it was in the fall. Uh, just something different for people to really enjoy getting outside and... Um, celebrating you know pumpkins and whatnot this pumpkin was, was hilarious watch this guy Plus. oh my god dab again dab and then you know here's the section where you know they can make crafts so we got lexi a, a cool little blanket there so Great place to stop in with your family, uh, especially for ones who just want to check out something different on a mountain biking trip. And it's a great spot in between where we're coming from to Eureka Springs, Arkansas, baby. So day two, the Passion Play. Uh, so we have never been to this particular trail system. It's the uh, uh, very cool. So this place is really set up kind of touristy for, uh, they, they do a play and right here they're going to show the amphitheater where they do the passion play that shows the, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And then they also have the Christ of the Ozarks, which this statue is really kind of famous for the passion play. So Neely and I just rode this day and we started off on the Holy Roller Trail. This is the intermediate, kind of a shorter trail. They got some bigger jumps but nothing just kind of rollers pretty much but but it was a fun trail wow. kind of a fun little jump into that turn there that i did not do and then they got some cool rock sections here at the end this is where it all started right uh oh so this is one of the beginner trails wow and what i will tell this you is cool perfect beginner flow right here is that they've got some of the best just like what I said there, just beginner flow trails. There, there is a little bit of climbing, so be prepared for that if you're someone who's not really prepared for climbing. But this would be a, a really good destination place to take someone or a family if they're getting into mountain biking. I'm merely a good Samaritan. Because they've got some good options. Hashtag burn after reading. All that I really ride on, on this particular day are green trails, beginner trails, and blue trails. This one is another good one. Neely had a, a lot of fun on this one, even though it's an intermediate. Got some features there like what you saw there, but nothing too gnarly to where they can navigate through it. Because doing that forgiveness sucks. Exodus, another beginner trail. This one also has some good fast and flowy sections. Perfect for beginners and families wanting to get them out biking. If you're taking a trip to Bentonville, you gotta stop at the Passion Play Trails and check them out. Yeah, this looks flowy. It's got some nice kind of beginner jumps to where you can go for it and try to 
check out some of your jumping skills without having too much risk. They're pretty much tabletops as well. Once we finished oh, up wow. here at the Passion Play, we wanted to go to downtown Eureka Springs and see what it had to offer. So we looked at, um, there was like a, a coffee bar slash, it's not a brewery, but co coffee bar slash beer place called Brews. So we stopped in, got the kids some root beers, and we played a little bit of face ten and cards and had some local beers and soda. Good times. What are you drinking? Does it have a bite? Not really. Barks has bite. Is it a bite? Uh-uh, you have to draw. <laughs> yes. How's your beer? It's good. What is it? It's a New England IPA. It's called Bury the Hatchet. Oh. So got a whole brewery, and this is another place. As you go from Eureka Springs all the way to Bentonville, this is in the middle. Can you get a beer? Yeah. Did you wash your hands? Smell test? Uh-huh. Fresh as a daisy. Them nails, though. Them nails. Them nails. Them nails. Uh-huh. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? What was the one that we had down at the other place? Uh, Bury the Hatchet. That's yeah. good. We just okay. picked it yesterday, so that's Did you really? Okay. That's amazing. I will want to try your October. This is hazy grapefruit. And this is I know. Is that sour like, IPA. Like a, like a sour IPA. Yeah, let me, yeah. can I try that one, please? Absolutely. How long have you guys been open? July 2nd. July 2nd. Really? In the middle of COVID. Yep. Good for you. Still a baby brewery. Okay. Yeah, that's hey. But it was good. They had some really good beers and they had some live music behind the uh, the building. So we went and checked out some live music. This guy was pretty good as well. Had a couple of beers after our ride and then headed into Bentonville, Arkansas for the evening. Kids were playing around, having a good time. Like I said, just really good music, really good beer. Definitely recommend you stopping by Gotta Hold Brewing. Passion play, can't say enough place was amazing didn't really explore explore much of the bl black expert trails but i hear that they're pretty gnarly and rocky as well the other place in eureka springs is lake leatherwood which that is a lot more advanced so if you're family friendly go to the passion play so here is send it this is our airbnb this place is awesome three bedroom two bathroom right off slaughter pin when i say right off there's actually a trail from the park for, from the driveway that takes you right down to uh apple turnover right in slaughter pin but as you can see this house is amazing it's beautiful if you're looking for a phenomenal destination off of slaughter pin this is it they've got bike stands inside the garage they've got some cool banners as well and and, and a couple other things to kind of hold your bikes up okay. So what I would do is I would wake up in the morning because I usually wake up in the morning early anyways every day and I'd go for a quick mountain bike ride before the family wakes up and get around. So this is the first trip as you can see. I just went right out of the garage and this is onto Leopard's Loop. Now this trail I did not know. Apparently this trail glows at night. I found out after we had left. It's concrete or maybe a different type of material I don't know about feels like concrete so the next time we go to Bentonville we are gonna check out this trail and make sure that we go at night because I'm pretty sure that this Learned bad that. boy glows so then I headed back towards the house went over to uh, ozone Thought I was gonna go down the ozone trail and later found out that there's a brand new trail unbeknownst to me what called hammer down that's new I guess we're doing hammer down So here's my first down hammer down, Black Diamond Trail. Honestly, I probably should have sessioned this a couple of times. I feel like I could have done the majority of these jumps a lot better than what I did down this run. But a very, very fun trail. Like this right here could have sent that down there. Hit the jump on the right. And then a couple of just floater jumps like right here. Nice. That's the beauty of Bentonville, is they are constantly building brand new trails. Had no idea this was even here. But this bit you off right on Ozone, like where I typically would. There's a drop right there on your left. Should have done it. Did. I know. Go across the bridge. 
and this is back on to the Greenway. So right. I'm gonna go on the Greenway, take a little bit of a right right here. There's a couple of these ones intermediate trails over here on the right that are more cross country. They're not machine built. They're old school cross country. So that, if that's what you're looking for, definitely take two stacks and do these trails. Honestly, they're okay. I, I'm one that this likes to blue. check out all trails because I want to see what they're like and I want to experience as many trails as I can. Would I do these trails again? Probably not. But they're cool. They're rocky. Had some fun sections, but nothing to call home about, especially if you're in Bentonville, Arkansas. So finish those up. Headed back on the Ozark Trail, Ozark uh, Greenway, Razorback Trail. Headed back, and I'm going to show you exactly where our house is located off the of slaughter pit. You go back under this from where I went from Ozone. Looking like climbing a black double black diamond. You hang a left. This is Apple Turnover. This is a double black diamond. This doesn't look that gnarly, but there are sections where it is. You keep climbing it. Right there on the left, that's house. That's the house. <laughs> Airbnb sent it. So. If you're looking for a great house in a good location, check it out. I will tell you, we were going to stay there this spring break. It's already booked up a good part of the summer. So, Buttered Biscuit, if you want a oh this place the, the breakfast is amazing. We went there three three or four times in one week. A couple of locations throughout Bentonville and Rogers. So, this has got to be on your list if you want a good breakfast place. So, this is the family woke up, had breakfast, and then we went went riding at Lake Atalanta. My son had broken his collarbone, so unfortunately we had already had this trip booked, and he is a hardcore mountain biker. He loves it, couldn't ride any mountain bikes, so here's my daughter riding on his bike, and he's actually down at the water um, fishing. That's why we went to the Bass Pro Shops go. to get some fishing gear. Go, mama, go! So we picked up this place so he can go fishing and we can go riding. Uh, if I could just be honest with these trails, it's got a great paved path around the water. It's got a couple of mountain bike trails off of uh, the water. This one got uh, a little bit too technical for them. This is really rough. Yeah, you might need to get off. I kind of freaked her out a little bit. So I finished up the trail. They turned around. Um, I probably would not recommend this place from what we rode. If there's other trails, great. You know, they might be better than what we did. But we actually ended up just finishing off. Any probably, bites? Probably a quick ride and, huh? and, and checked out. On the way back to Bentonville, we stopped in Rogers, Arkansas and had Ozark Beer Company. This place is actually really good. Uh, they're rebuilding some of the road out front, so it's going to be a lot nicer to be accessible. But this is a place where we all always stop and have some good fresh beer in Arkansas with some Ozark beer. So day four, Bentonville and Springdale, Arkansas. This is my second morning ride. So I want to try and do something right, different today. No. I can't remember where I went on this particular day. I believe I went down the other end of Ozone. So I hung a right. This is the other end of Ozone where it's got a very cool jump run section. This is a nice beginner slash intermediate section of jumps. I love these types of jumps because they've got the rock face. They're not super picky. Or and, and kick you up high, but you can just carry some speed and go right over them. Right next to the road, very cool looking. You keep going straight, and you're gonna jump this curb and hang to the right. You're gonna do Ang Angus Shoot. This is intermediate, it's, it's got a decent flow to it, and there's a couple of jumps, and it takes you back down to the uh, All American Trail down at the bottom. So now we're at the bottom of All-American, turn, turn a left and then turn a right, and now we are on the Seatick Shuffle. Shuffle! This is a beginner trail. This kind of loops around to do a couple different trails. I'm going to go hang a right. Tamaguchi? Turn left right there. That's how you say it. This is Tamaguchi. It's a intermediate blue trail. <sighs> I'll go down it. Don't really want to go up it. This is just a typical cross country trail, nothing really to call them about, but once again, if you want some good cross country, I'd recommend this, but it also takes you to the gnarly uh, blacktop downhill trail, which you'll see probably in about 30 or 40 seconds. 
there's another kind of wood bridge feature that they're pretty cool. This is what I love about Bentonville is I, I came here back in 2017. I looked at that bridge trail and said, there's no way I could do that. That's This crazy. is a downhill trail that I crashed on back in 2017. It's changed though. Now it's full concrete. Pretty cool. No gaps for this guy though. So did that, did not even think about doing that wood bridge section back in 2017. 2020, not even a big deal. There's so much progression that you can do at Bentonville. Ooh, they've got beginner, intermediate, and expert to help you build up to what you want to do. Now, this trail. Look at this feature right here. Not this one. People actually jump that. off this rock face. Deep and deep. Right there. That's and go sideways on there. there. I mean, it's just, it's insane. Looking back after my progression, even on this trip, I feel like I could have done some of these jumps to the left to kind of get more of the air time and actually do the doubles versus just rolling them like I did. You get some serious speed on this trail. Just listen. This is fun just to go down and jump the backside. Woo, that was good. Go across the, the creek, rock bottom, hit the Ozark. Oh my god, I keep saying that. The Razorback. God bless. Razorback Greenway. Right head back home. Other way you can go back home instead of going up the trail like what I did, you can Rocking Horse. Take Rocking Horse. It spits you up onto the road. Turn right on the road. Take this sidewalk left. And this takes you right Thank back you. to the house as well. So I'm trying to help you understand how amazing this location is for this Airbnb send it. It's right off of a hub of a ton of different trails. That's the end of morning ride number two. So we headed out this day and we are going to be heading to Springdale, Arkansas. Uh, this is another place that has a lake so my son can try to do some fishing while well, we're going to do some riding. And this place has got a pump track, it's got some skills courses, and then it also has this uh, trail system called Thunder Chicken. You don't hear much about Track Thunder here. Chicken. And you're going to see why. Give you a little quick Key tour. Pump track. Quick tour of the pump track and the skills course before we head over to Thunder Chicken. Pump. skills course over here too. Let's see what they got. If you've got younger kids who are wanting to try some wood features, this is a great place to take them so they can try out, kind of get their bearings without it being worked into a trail somewhere. One obstacle at a time. This type of stuff in Bentonville area is just everywhere. That's why we love going there as a family. Oh. Get going. On to Thunder Chicken. So you take this paved, paved trail a little bit west, and you come across a bridge kind of resembling what you see at Kohler. And voila, a map of the Thunder, Thunder Chicken. Thunder Chicken. Map of the Thunder Chicken system. So there's a road that you climb. Nice, easy road double track climb up to the top and it flows down with about three three downhill trails and then another kind of cross-country looking trail so valley here's view. the top this is valley view intermediate trail now, trail riding this tons of walnuts everywhere yeah. leaves everywhere this these trails are not ridden very much you should have a couple of water rides out there which is pretty fun 
pretty much what you see on this trail is what you're gonna get. At the very end, they've got some wood features. You can try your hand at, but that's it. So climb up the road. Leaning Elm. This is a. Well, I'm here to say it. Looks like it's a dotted blue, which usually means harder than a typical intermediate. My, my wife didn't want to go down this because she didn't like the other one, but she really could have rode down this one as well. So here's Thunder Chicken. This is the downhill. This is the big downhill. You can tell this was really legit at one point, but because it doesn't get ridden, it doesn't get worked on, like a lot of the other slaughter pit trails, it's hard to even do a lot of the features. They've got about three of these wood features that really get your speed going. Like, I don't even see how this these turns would even work All right. with the way that they're built. A couple of, like, bigger, bigger doubles, almost like what you see on a dirt bike track. But it's so hard to carry momentum on this trail. Daniel. So reason freaking wrong. Why you probably haven't heard of Thunder Chicken is because it really isn't that worth it's not worth it to drive out and check out this system. Those are big with, with everything else out there and in, in the area. So but one nice thing is it's off the Razorback Greenway so while they kept fishing I went on and you could see just some beautiful scenery right through just like farmland and different things really enjoyed the ride um, here is uh, Springdale Lake Lake Springdale whatever it is and uh, son went there and went fishing still didn't catch anything but then they also have a, a like a little Boy Scout area where they've built some beams and you could set up some hammocks which my wife and my son did Whataburger never been to Whataburger Loved it. It was it was it was really good. Uh, really surprised me how good you know the fast food joint was, Ready? but really liked it. Then we hopped over from Springdale Lake over to Fitzgerald Mountain in Springdale as well. What I would say about this place? Oh my god! It was amazing. I honestly Can wish I watch. had spent an entire day at this trail system. Just sessioning some of the trails. So we'll take you on a, a nice little tour and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So Butterfield is what's going to take you up north. It's going to get you over to what you hear about the best trail ever. It, it's pretty much a slow meandering climb kind of up the side of Fitzgerald Mountain. But you do have a couple of sections where it flows a little bit. Uh, I don't think it's too much climbing even for some beginners. But this is how you got to get up there. So let's take a little ride on Butterfield. Here it is. The step up, step off. I want to do it. Huh? I want to do it. Drop. You gotta do that gap. Yeah. And it's a step up. And how big is the drop? I'm not worried about the drop. Oh. God. I know I can do this. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Get your camera out. Send it. I was conflicted. It doesn't. It looks awesome. Doesn't look that hard. And honestly, hell yeah! It's well, not, I bottomed out jumping off that gap. Jumping off that. It's not really that hard, but it was freaking awesome. So here's another jump. Let's, let's turn around and do it. Here, let me do that jump. That's what I love about Ben. I'm, I'm gonna keep saying it and saying it and saying it. But as you start Rock doing garden. start doing more and more features, more and more jumps, and you get more comfortable with the progression, it just helps you build up to doing bigger and better things. That that rock step up to me was just it just made my day just being able to do it. And it really wasn't that hard. Um, because I built up to it. So now we're on Fitzgerald Trail. This is a very short loop at the top of the mountain that pretty much goes on the rim. Of, of the mountain slash hill and it takes you to the best trail ever now keep okay, in mind love you 
I'll be I, careful. I've got longer versions of each of these trail rides, so if you want to see more of what we checked out here so at they the Stroud Mountain, this is the best trail ever. Check out my channel, Let's and you'll see. find uh, complete trails of Fitzgerald Mountain, of Lake Atalanta, man, bad line, of Thunder Chicken. If you want to see more, this is just a snippet, just to give you a little bit of a peek behind the curtain as to some of the trail systems that we did, when we did them, what I recommend for families and whatnot best trail ever what you need to know is that when you start it start and turn right and do not turn left i followed mtv project who told me to turn left and it was a big mistake because then i get to write up awesome features like this instead of going down them oh i was so freaking bummed it was still a fun ride don't get me wrong but just note turn right when you do this go counterclockwise instead of clockwise Otherwise, you have to do crap like this and go up it instead of down it. If I had to say one word about the best trail ever, it's rocky. Uh, there, there's a trail that I absolutely love in Virginia called the, the Puzzler in uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia. In my mind, one of, the, one of the rockiest trails I've ever ridden. And this was challenging that trail in certain sections of how rocky it, it became. So just kick back and watch some of these phenomenal rock formations <laughs> and how they how they built this trail. Basic, basically, with just rock. Find the trail at times, it's so rocky. Rocky. Look at that burn and that sun. Oh, so here in Bentonville, we've got some fast trails, fast flowy trails. So much that they need some really big berms. Berms so big that, well, pretty much they're a freaking wall. I'm trying to help you understand how vertical this is. There's my bike. I would love to see someone do this. And as I think about it, I mean, there's a ton of like wall rides, like wooden wall rides, but you don't see them oh built boy. out of rock. So here's a couple of huge doubles. It's so huge. It's a bootery. Which I wish I wouldn't have done. I probably <sighs> would have thought about this one, but wouldn't have done it. So that's the end of the best trail ever. So in my mind, I'm thinking I'm just going to head back to the parking lot, find <sighs> my wife, because she ended up just going on and not doing the best trail ever with me. And I had no idea. How Coyote Cave. awesome a trail like Coyote Cave was going to be heading back. This had some amazing rock formations. Some, it was just a beautiful ride, and it was it, it was a, a, a pleasant surprise. I was not even expecting it. It was not on my radar. So, uh, a couple of even sections I probably would have wanted to turn around in session, just because of how cool they were. This section right here is, is kind of well known and you can kind of jump down it right there on the right. I didn't even know what I was going through until I could, you know, thought about it after the ride. I was like, oh, that's that one trail where you see a lot of other videos doing some cool things. Coyote Cave, very cool. And there's some cool jumps at the very end that I probably would have wanted this session as well. That I did, because I was in my mind just thinking I'm heading back to the parking lot to see the fam. There's the cave. Getting towards the end here. And then they built some really cool jumps. Get some speed. The coif. Right there. Right there. 
<laughs> That's and the right there. I don't know if I, I, don't know, I say I would have done that. That looks pretty big. We'll see. We'll see you next year, folks. All right, so I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of the green trails. Let's see here. So here's the funny part is there's a couple of on the map it looks like there's a bunch of green trails to the right so if i would have just went straight over there green trails i had no track. idea that there were legit downhill Not trails over pumping, here but so here's here's the beginner trail this is where like pretty cool. you know the strider bike you come Iron check horse. out and feel like they're on a trail i'm gonna pop up here on stage coach. so i'm gonna take the same trail that i took to go up to butterfield stagecoach but it's instead of going across the road i'm gonna turn right hopefully that's a small little loop so instead of going straight across the road i'm gonna turn right here and like i said in my mind gonna check out some green trails to show you what some beginner trails are this is cool as i'm right i'm like what is that's not a green trail I see it, I gotta check it out. Barking iron. And looking back, could have done that dead drop, that's not a big deal. And then even these jumps, I'm pretty sure at this point they've made some of these trails concrete, I think. Kinda like what they did in um, on Slaughter Pit on that other downhill trail. But this would be a trail that, in my mind, I'd want a session a couple times, and I would hope or think that I could probably do some of these jumps. But I had no idea they were even out here. So there's another one. There's two more. One that's super advanced, one that's even built up bigger than um, Barking Iron, right over there in that section. And then you've got some nice green trails over here as well. So that's what I mean. I wish I would have spent probably another half a day in this trail mountain of trails I had no idea to even have. So put this on your list for a day spent at Fitzgerald, Springdale, Arkansas, and then you gotta stop at Whataburger if you haven't had Whataburger. We're from the north, they don't have them up north, and it was so, so good. So got got back to Bentonville, went to Bike Rack Brewing Company. They got a they have a couple of uh, locations throughout the Bentonville Rogers area, but this is the place they've got the bike racks and they tie that in because they know just how important the biking community is to Bentonville, Arkansas. The kids love this place because of the quote unquote big chair and it's great beer. So check it out. And then we also, if you're looking for some really good ice cream, trash. I know it sounds gross, but they've got a really cool way with how they uh, build their mixes and their ice creams, and it's kind of set to the 80s. And uh, I think I got like that's a uh, Reese's peanut butter cup uh, cereal on top of my ice cream. It was really good. So day five, day five. This is my last morning ride. So where am I gonna go? No, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't do a morning ride. This is our um, family ride. So, like I said, my my uh, son broke his collarbone. He couldn't ride a mountain bike, but we did rent him an electric, just kind of cruiser bike, and we just wanted to go down the, the the Razorback Greenway just to check it out. On our way, we found this pump track that they're building. This is right next to the bike rack uh, brewing company, with where we were the night before. That's it. So here we're back on the, the greenway. Our goal is to go as far south as we as we can. So there's my daughter on, on the e-bike and then my son's gonna be on the e-bike to run for him. We ended up doing, I think, about 17 to 18 miles. This is a place that we stopped in Rogers, another uh, brewery, very good beer, right off the water. It was very beautiful that day. And then rode back, you know, through the trails it was the fall beautiful with the leaves on the ground and he at least got to get on the bike so we had to hit slaughter pin on the way back to the house so my daughter she loves all american trail how was that so we did that joking it was a lot yeah fine yeah what is that 70 miles hey baby yes hi, hi. So that night, we actually, my wife and I, we went to Hawk Moth. This is a place that kids, does not have kids. It's not family friendly. Uh, got there for a brew. If I'm just being honest, it wasn't the greatest beer that I've ever had. But this is what I've learned about breweries is you can't just judge 
a brewery just by one beer, go back and check it out. They could have a couple more. New Province, probably our favorite place just to be on the other side of the coin. So please go to New Province. It's amazing. Check it out. The best beer, in my opinion. So here's day six. This is my morning ride. I went to Kohler. Kohler, if you're wanting to figure out a place to progress your jump skills, you got to go here. Excuse me. These kids are just out there checking out. So here's the hub. You climb up to the top of the hill, and there's a couple of ways in which you can go down it. This is the intermediate trail to learn how to jump a bike. These are built perfectly. They just redid it, I believe, in the spring of 2020. And this trail is so fun. All tabletops, super safe. A little bit of the booter kind of lips on some of these jumps, but it'll get you kind of uh, built up to the other trails and the other jumps of what you could do throughout Bentonville, Slaughter Pit, and everything else in the area. Whoa! As you can see, they had they had a guy out there that day breaking the leaves off the trails. That's how much they take care of these trails every single day. They don't just build them and walk away. They keep them in the exact same shape with how they were built from the initial get-go. best part is, and you're going to see how close this is to our Airbnb once again, this is probably three miles. So if I really wanted to, I could have rode my bike here, done these trails, and rode back. But because of time constraints, I, I didn't. There's a cool little wood bridge jump down section. And then these last tabletops are pretty big. I would say, I'm guessing between these last two are 20, 25 feet. I didn't make them, I cased them. But if you're carrying a home the mail, you can definitely make it. Very cool. So going back up to the top, you can do, you can go down that section, which I didn't do off the hub. You can turn left for rock solid or rock soft. So I chose to do rock soft. They got a couple of rock face jumps at the top right here that you can do. Super safe, not, not very uh, technical, not much risk. I still get your wheels off the ground. And then the very end of this, you're going to see a lot more of a, a rock section some technical skills getting down. I even got off my bike at one point because I'm out there by myself and there was a lot of exposure that I did not want to deal with. Here's where we're starting to get more of the rock section. That's a lot of exposure right there. Deep and deep. As you can see down there on the left, that's where the uh, the road is in the parking lot. Kind of give you frame of reference of where we're at. Did not do that drop. That looked kind of sketchy, and I even heard from some comments on Facebook that the landing is real sketch. So, so that's Kohler. That was the end of my ride on, uh, I think this is day six of my morning ride. So this will give you an idea, you know, same for you. If you're, you know, a dad who's got their family, can get up early, try to get out of, get a ride in for about an hour um, while the kids are still sleeping and, and, and um, everybody else in the family, this is a good way to do it. This will show you how close, literally, Kohler is to the Airbnb. Boom, I'm already home. It's a little Fayetteville Centennial Park at Millsaps Mountain action. This is a brand new trail system that they're building in Fayetteville. Look, look to the left, you can see that creepy little armadillo. Freak us Whoa, out. Whoa, armadillo. Keep going. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> we later found out the armadillos don't hurt you. Never seen a live armadillo. At the time, not alone up, up close like that. We did not know what they were. So back to back to the park. So uh, sure. They are building this park up. This is the green trail. There's some climbing. So even though it's green and it's fun and it's got some good flowy sections like this. Yeah. It's a decent amount of climbing and some bigger berms. Like my wife doesn't like the super sharp kind of steep berms. So she had to walk a couple of those sections. 
but it's still fun trails but they're building building and building with i believe a cyclocross world cyclocross round drawer in, of the junk in 2020 so drunk otherwise drawer. known as junk drawer as you can see on the left they're doing a ton of building it's almost like they're building a hub like yeah they're building <laughs> A hub like uh, section like what you see at Kohler uh, for that big event. So this is junk floor. Oh boy, that's a gap. Is it too big? I bet I could do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. It's, just, it's the progression. That's what I love about this place. Uh, okay, I don't well. know. One more time. What do you think, folks? You think I can do it? I bet I can. Honestly, you carry your speed and you just float right off of it. Yeah, baby! Perfect! That's perfect! So you got to do it again, right? What's your favorite Green Day song? Green Day? Yeah. Mine's Basket Case. It's that rocky one that that chick was doing. Giggity. So, so these are just nice, easy rocks just to pedal across. We turned left into basket case, or you could have went down junk drawer. I wish I would have went down junk drawer. I believe it would have been a lot better ride than this. This feels almost like a return trail. So if you're out riding, make sure you go all the way down junk, junk, junk drawer and not just go on basket case. Use just more of a return back up to the parking lot. You need a washing machine? There it is. This is what Millsaps Mountain Centennial Park is known for. It's the truck jump. We're there. Man, we should have come that way on junk drawer. I might have to go back and do it. Man. There's a I note on the truck, the so we're, re we're gonna read it to you. Something Ruby lost. Please respect the MIO. What does that stand in for? In my opinion. In my opinion of Ruby has lost to Lake in 73. If you have children, don't assume you always will. So spoil them. Lots of animals live here, so act accordingly. Floppy Joe, pet deer, I don't know. Huh. Here's the thing is all I have to do is to at least get right here. I know. That's what I know. Well, the only thing I'm concerned about is the turn at the end. All right, so let's go for the truck jump. Like I said, progression, building up. If you had asked me to do this a year ago, two years ago, heck no. Now, seconds. It does not even look that hard watching the video. That was easy. And it's not it. It's easy. Yeah, that was easy. And I made it perfectly. And that turn wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. One more time, just for good sake measure. It's a little bit of a booter. All right, so now we're back on junk drawer. So picture, you got to climb up at the beginning, like I said, and then you go down junk drawer, and you got to go exact back line up. Only going down. You got to go back up the hill. Now to get at the, to the top, top, it'll start flowing down. If you look to the left, you're going to see a lot of other trails that they're building. Like I said, this place is still fairly new of like some, I think the blue and black downhill trails, but we couldn't check them out because they were all closed. Here's, here's yeah. two more right here. Hail Mary. You're doing good. I had two firsts today, jumped the truck and saw a live armadillo. So this, so now we're working the back watch. down the hill. This is on, on it's the- It's like uh, it's a flat turn. The backs, I'm trying to help Neely understand how to do some of these big coves. So if you look to your left, you'll see some of those expert trails coming down towards us, I bet you. On some gnarly rock sections. Nice. And honestly, they look more jumpy, flowy, but if there's a rock section in the middle of it, so be it. But I was just assuming it's rock. Holy cow. But it, it's going to be fun. This is a Fayetteville Traverse to take you back to the top of the hill. I'm going to do this gap. See how that to your left? Ah! Oh. 
shit! What happened? Snap my chain. Um, no, huh? Where we parked? We're on the opposite. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Is we're gonna have to climb up, back down, and then up and back down again to get back to the car. Versus someone stays here with my bike and someone goes on this and goes back to the car and well, then how about it? So that being said, Neely didn't want to navigate through the trail. She didn't know where to go as she much. Her brakes are not as good as mine. So I jump on her e-bike, as you can hear, and headed back. I jumped that. I'm bad. So here's going back on the, um, the green trails, which I'm blanking what they're, I think it's longer for me. They go back to the car and she stayed back off the road and I'm going to go pick her up. But this was one of Neely's favorite trail systems as well. And honestly, a lot of the stuff wasn't even built yet. So I cannot even imagine when we go back this spring in a couple of months, how many more trails we're going to have to ride at Centennial Park. The only thing I would say is the parking is horrible. This parking lot is almost impossible to find. It's on the north end of the trail system and you just gotta find it. It took us probably almost 30 or 40 minutes to find this, but they're gonna have some better parking once they get everything built. So on the way back, we stopped by West Mountain Brewing Company to get a beer in Fayetteville, just downtown, very cool. A nice you know, bar setting and they have some pizza there, but we only got a beer. And then we headed up to a place called Fossil Cave Brewing Company. This is also in like a, in an old building. Very unique beers here. Uh, you know, everyone was sitting outside, but they had some cool TVs and the, just a cool setting inside as well. Uh, even a bike hanging from the ceiling. Isn't that cool? And then uh, that night we took the kids to Bentonville Brewing Company, played a few cards. Uh, they had some live music going outside as well. This was a really cool place. And they've got a couple of locations throughout the area as well. Just located right on the west. This one was right off the west side of Bentonville. Beautiful brewery, though. Very cool. So what I would say about Bentonville, had a phenomenal time. If you if you have any questions, let me know. Um, we tried to give you a little bit of flavor as to where we stayed, where we ate, where we had some really good local beers. That That's important to us when we take these mountain bike trips. This is actually a place. This is Lambert's Cafe on the way home in Arkansas, in uh, Ozark, Ozark, Missouri. Another place to go, uh, you know. Take take e-bikes if you want to to help. Like this is my daughter. She rode one day close to 25 miles and she never would have done that before without her e-bike. So it, it kind of helps bring everybody together in that aspect. Uh, here's a couple of jumps that I did just to kind of progress. I would have never have thought to do some of these uh, a couple years ago, but because of what Bentonville has to offer and, and what you can progress in, this these are the things in which you can kind of work up to. So if you're looking for a way to get a family-friendly mountain bike trip, head down to Bentonville, stop in Branson, stop in Eureka Springs, and then make a final landing spot in Bentonville, and you will have a phenomenal time. Thanks for riding with the Flock of Steagulls, and we will see you on the next trip. Peace out, suckers.